Day one dictator. It, 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 hey, right. day one dictator. Because you know what? We're going to drill, baby, drill. Baby. Hey, how many people here? Now, normally I know you probably wouldn't in America, but considering what they've done to this man, how many people here support day one dictator? Yeah. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here. And Trump rallies attract the underbelly of society. MAGA morons come from miles around dressed to the hilt in Trump merchandise that's made in China and hopped up on orange Kool-Aid. We have seen some of the dumbest people people to ever get in front of a camera during reporter interviews at these rallies. The way that Trump supporters are portrayed depends on who is covering the event. Because you know, because you know who he's going to be. It's not, it's not really a dictator. It's really just giving the people justice for what they deserve, for what they've done to us. Not really to him, but to us. I don't think that his retribution presidency that he's talking about, I don't think it's for him and his family. I really do think it's for us. What, what do you think about that? I 100, I 100% agree. I, and I tell everybody that's why what is going on him has to happen to him first. Because now when he gets back in control, it's game over. And we as the American people are going to be easier to accept what's going to happen in the next couple of years yeah. because we've seen how they've come after him. Yeah. You know, they can't say that he's, well, I mean, they are saying that he's coming after his political opponents, but literally that's exactly everything they're accusing this man of doing is literally what has been going on yeah. for the last. That's years. why I have no problem with day one dictator. That's why I have no if, problem with if, it. If a dictator means he's going to drill, baby, drill, I'll sign me up for that dictatorship <laughs> anywhere, baby. And RSBN is a Trump loyal network that hypes up his pathetic rallies and tries to make the Trump faithful look smart while attempting to act like credible journalists. The other approach in the news has been that of TYT's Michael Shore. Shore asks direct questions and challenges the Trump faithful to elaborate on their opinionated responses. He highlights the lack of critical thinking that runs rampant in the Trump faithful. Tell me about the shirt you're wearing. I pretty much speaks for itself. Is that something you would really like to see happen? Absolutely. Even with that crucifix dangling over it, what would Jesus think of that? Absolutely. He's, been a, he's not just a traitor now. He's been a traitor for decades. Everybody knows it. But, but again, you have Jesus hanging over, hang for Biden. Would Jesus be cool with it? What's the penalty for treason? Death. Tell, um, tell me this then. Put him in prison for the rest of his life. Uh, so what is it about Donald Trump, forgetting Joe Biden for a moment, that you like so much? What did he do for this country? What did he do for the entire world? World peace, lower gas prices, taxes, everything. Everything was phenomenal under Donald Trump. Despite being confronted with facts, the Trump cult remains committed to their delusions. The truth typically acts as a gateway to frustration for them. Their beliefs are based on opinions rather than facts. It causes them great discomfort when presented with new information that challenges their beliefs. Do you blame, do you blame President Biden for the, for the wars that are going on? Absolutely. And the Democrats and Obama. I'm, 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 I'm Obama calling the shots right now. It ain't Biden. Biden's. So it's Obama calling the shots? I believe so. Is what did it? he say at the end of his second term or after his second term? He said if he could have a third term and have a bug in someone's ear and run it from his basement, that's, that would be good enough for him. And I believe that's what he's doing. Because I hadn't heard that Obama's running the White House before. Is there sort of support for that that you've heard? Biden's not doing it. But is there support for that that you've heard? He's incompetent. Shore pointed this hypocrisy out to one old Krabby Patty that was wearing a Hang Joe Biden t-shirt with a cross around her neck. Shore asked her if she thought that Jesus would approve. Her God apparently approves of her ignorance. This is the face of Christian nationalism. These are the same people who haven't read an indictment. Heck, some of them don't know the difference between indicted and indoctrinated. What a pathetic group of Stone Age idiots. At the RSBN coverage, fans cheered wildly when the reporter asked them to raise their hands if they support day one dictator. These fools actually said that they would support Donald as a dictator. From the face painted moron who yelled, sign me up, to the old Krabby Patty who doesn't believe that Trump will be a dictator, they all share an inability to question themselves in an honest manner. The Trump cult are not big thinkers. They need to be told what to believe because they are either too stupid or just plain lazy when it comes to doing any research. These are the same people who think they are experts in topics that they know nothing about. Donald Trump gives them permission to be the worst versions of themselves that they can possibly be.
The Trump faithful have blended Donald's delusions into their own identities. They are a bunch of bandwagon jumpers that hopped on a crap mobile and don't want to admit that they were wrong. They will ride that wagon until the wheels fall off. What a group of numbskulls, and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.